I think this is the 50th time I have recorded this intro, but let's just take five. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I really appreciate it. So for today's look, we're going to be doing a purple cut crease smoky. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys take some inspiration from it. And I will see you all in my next video or in the next clip. So now that our hair is picked up and we look absolutely insane and we look like we're bald. So let's just try and make it look like we're not. So we are going to start off with the eyebrows. You can start off however you like. Personally, I'm just going to start off with my brows, then do my eyes, then do my face. And my skin is kind of not cooperating today. It doesn't want to look good today. Sorry for my little pickup of my hair. A more in-depth video of how I do my eyebrows if you like how they come out if you want to do your eyebrows like that if you want to learn how I do my eyebrows then comment down below obviously after you've seen it I don't know why I'm saying this before but yeah I guess I'll just talk a little bit through this we're basically just that kind of hurt we're basically just brushing them out right now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little quick time-lapse of how I do my brows I'll put So my brows are complete. Sometimes they want to come out good. Sometimes they don't want to be sisters. Sometimes they want to be cousins. So today they're cousins and whatever. We're just going to call that a day. What I'm going to do this eye first off camera. So this eye will be complete. And then I will do this one on camera. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do this one real quick. And then I'll be back in literally a second. This eye. I didn't do the clean up good because I'm gonna do foundation, so I'm gonna continue to clean this eye up. But this is kind of what it's supposed to look like without the bottom of my eyes done. In the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white, this is what it looks like. Basically, this is to set a base for your eyeshadow to stick on. So for that, I'm using these brushes that I got from Amazon, and they're just regular brushes, and then this one has a flat top. And we are going to use patting motions and pat this all over my... And just setting that kind of in place. We're using this naked brush that came with the naked palette. This side, the more fluffy side. And we're going to go ahead and set that using the shade Foxy from the Naked to Urban Decay palette. It's the very, very white yellowish shade right here. This one right here. Set my entire eyelid with this shade. Basically, these four colors for my whole look and a little bit of this pink tone. But for right now, we're going to use the color Flashback to set more of my eyelid in place. That same brush that we used to set in with the other color. This is just three brushes, very simple look. I'm going to be using a whole bunch of crazy stuff, maybe just like four. Actually, maybe like two blending brushes, one small detailed brush, and just a regular fluffy brush as well. Fluffy brush to put this pink color into my crease. For my crease, and right above my crease, it's this hot pink color. Down, you're going to basically, right above where your eye creases, if you move your head like this, your eye has a natural crease. Basically, you want to apply that right there. First, you want to use dabbing motions. 
Then you're going to want to blend that color inside of your crease. Don't be afraid to drag the color out because you're going to end up cleaning that out. So basically what I'm doing is using windshield wiping motions. This is only one swipe of the color. We're going to be using windshield wiping motions. And basically soft. The brush is going to be like this instead of like this. You're going to use that at a straight angle. Kind of touching your brow bone, that bone that you have right there under your brow. Kind of touching that and into so your inner tear duct using windshield wiping motions. Looks, it takes a lot of blending. So just be patient and blend that out. To the skip color and again focusing it on the outer and blending into the inner tear duct. And kind of using really light, kind of feathery, just think swipely, not swipely, what am I saying? Just like gently swipe your brush back and forth. Like try to avoid getting color from your inner tear duct where your lid starts to the middle. One more of that black brush. By the way, these are just, I got these from the dollar store, I think it was. And they're pretty soft and super cute. So another one of those black brushes. And we are going to take their single and love that. Really focus this. Try to not overtake the pink at the top. Try to do it right above, like if you were doing it on the outer part of your lid. And try leaving the pink kind of alone for now. And then the same process of blending that color and using windshield wiping motions. And uh, instead of doing it like this, where your crease, I will be creasing, move your head tilted back a bit so you can see what you're doing. So basically, we're just focusing that color on the outside part of our lids. Take the color Escape. It's this more dark purple color. We're not going to tie tap off the excess for this one. We're going to really dab this into our outer lid. Really getting that color to pay off. And using the same technique of the blending and dabbing. We're taking this small Wet n Wild brush. This, this brush we're going to use it for both things. One side we're going to take Escape Single and Love That. And the other side we're going to take the color Spooky which is a black color. Dab this into Escape and Single. And dab this right where your eye creases. Love That Single and Escape and just kind of like Try to line exactly where your eye creases. Like I said, you just tilt your head forward. And you basically want to put that color there. To kind of define where your eye creases and then where it goes up to the pink. That fluffy brush I use with the pink. And kind of blend this out right at the top. Using that same straight method of using holding the brush. You reinforce that pink color Right where you were blending it. Like I said, we're, we're going to use the purple colors on to flip the, on the other side of the brush. And we're going to take the color Spooky, which is the black color, right on the outside of your eye. This is going to be a little bit tricky because if you grab too much, it'll be too dark. So just grab a, a little tiny bit and make sure to blend and blend and blend your heart out. Same brush that you use to apply the primer. And we're going to take the primer, actually, the color base, which kind of sounds crazy, but trust me, there's a method to my madness. Basically, you're going to dip that in, and then you're going to cut it halfway. Basically, what you want to do is you want to tilt your head back and start from the middle. So you're going to dab in that color, from your, and then you're going to work yourself way into the inner tear duct. Again, using that dabbing motion and up to your crease. 
You're going to be tilting your head forward a little bit, just a little bit. This really pretty, I'm trying to keep my eyes like back, but this really pretty fluffy flat top brush. And we're going to take the color Flashback from the James palette. Take the color Flashback and kind of work in that color a little. That brush that you used to put in the black and the purple, and we're going to use it again. See, we, we don't waste time. We're going to take the color Love That and Single and start from the end of that color and kind of blend it in with the out part of it. Take that brush and we're going to line the top of where it cuts off from the white. Very small detailed brush and artistry which is this purple shimmery with blue type of glitters inside of it. Set that right in the middle of your eye using dabbing motions. This really sticks on to this. I the eyes. That's all you do. Now we're going to go ahead and clean this up and then put some lashes on. Tissue roll or you can take makeup remover wipes. Personally, I don't use makeup remover wipes. That's why I'm just getting a tissue. I'm wrapping it around my finger. Coconut oil. This is the one that I use. We're going to go ahead and dab that in there. The outside towards the inside. I'm going to apply the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara Lashes. I'm not sure what they're called because I have them in packaging. I just kind of took off their label. But I think they are Demi Wispies. A little small sample that came with some lashes. This is the Eyelor Lash Fix Glue. I just put on a layer of it on the lash band. And then I'm just going to let this sit for a couple of seconds. So I just count. And moving it around. Primer for the face, we're gonna use the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser on our teaser. And you really feel the smoothness of this when you apply it. In contour, so for that we are using both Maybelline um, concealers. Under the eyes, which is my color, this is the shade 20 Sand. And to contour, we're gonna use the color. 20 Cafe. Cafe, if you're Hispanic, you know. I'm gonna apply this right under my eyes. 30 in the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer line. And we're going to cream contour. The color 20 in my concealer shade. We're gonna put a little bit on my problem areas. True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade T30. Basically, I just take one pump on the back of my hand and just like, I don't really apply a lot of foundation on my forehead because my forehead is always darker than my actual face. I don't know why, but we're going to take a little bit more. I just like put that all over my shirt. Me in the shade 30 medium deep contouring brush and the physician formula bronze booster in the shade light to medium it's super cute and it has a cute little sun on it and we're gonna go ahead and bronze boost so this is a clean one we're gonna take the color ring light which is this one right here and use this one as a we're gonna go ahead and use this one as a highlight we are going to use that purple blending brush that we use throughout the entire look the colors that we use which are escape single and love that we're gonna go ahead and blend that under our eyes and look up and we're gonna go ahead and blend that we're 
Maybelline New York Great Lash Mascara. My bottom lashes. So I just finished this makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you took some type of inspiration towards making your own look. Comment down below any other looks you would like me to do. Any other looks you want me to recreate. Anything else you want me to do. Be sure to comment down below. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. You have no idea. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in my next video. And that's, that's basically... That's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video and taking the time to watch the video. Bye, guys.